I just got back from a big, long, sweaty walk out in the heat, and uh, I got to thinking about what might be a fun video to make. Let's try learning a pattern of notes within the first four frets. I want to see if we can do all 12 keys. Start in a circle of fourths, starting on E. All right, this actually makes sense. I know it sounds kind of weird, but uh, the, the three E's in this position, nothing beyond the fifth fret, the three E's. So start there, low E, second fret, fourth string E, and first string open E. So there's three E's in that position. Now the fourth note in the E scale is A. So I'm going to do the A notes. There's two A notes in that position, open A and second fret, third string A. Pretty easy. E's and A's. Start there. Now the, uh, the fourth note in the A scale is D. So there's two D's in this position. The D string, fourth string, and second string, third fret D. So we got our E's, A's, and D's. I'm going in this order, E, A, D. Next is G. The fourth note in the D scale is G. There's three G's in this position. Big string, third fret, first string, third fret, and third string, open G. So we've done E's, A's, D's, and G's. If, if you're getting saturated, we can pause there. But it does, again, notice E, A, D, G, those four strings. Uh, it starts, it'd be nice if B was the fourth note in a G scale, but that's only the third note. The fourth note is C. So if we stay with that circle of fourths, we're gonna do C notes. Um, if you make a C chord, you'll see those two notes. So that was a hint I should have said about the other chords is you'll find them within the chord or the note names, you'll find them within the chord. So an E chord, A, D, G, C. They're within the chord, yes, yes. So make a C chord and you got fifth string and second string. That's pretty easy. All right, so we've done E, A, D, G, C. Check the chords. The fourth note in a C scale, F. You'll find them within the F chord. Make an F chord, it'd be sixth string, fourth string, and first string. Now we're getting into the flats. B flat. B flat's the fourth note in an F scale. First fret, fifth string. Third fret, third string. Within the chord. The fourth note in a B flat scale is E flat. Might make a chord. There's two, two E flats in this position. First fret, fourth string. Fourth fret, second string. Now we're up to A flat. Have a little trouble. That was hard to stretch. Um, but you don't have to play them all at the same time. So it'll be fourth fret on the first and sixth strings, first fret on the third string. Now we're on D flat. Fourth fret, fifth string, and second fret, second string. Stay with me now. G flat, we're almost done. G flat is the fourth note in a D flat scale. Within that chord, you got three G flats. Sixth string, second fret, 
fourth string, fourth fret, and first string, second fret. Almost done. B. B is the fourth note in the F or a G flat scale. You got three Bs in this position. Fifth string, second fret. Third string, fourth fret, and second string open. Equal pitch. And we're back to the beginning. You made it. Back to E. That's a circle of fourths, studying the roots. So really, you should learn them all in the first four frets. And, uh, you know, once you figure that out, then you just bring it up here to the next four frets, and the next four frets, and the next four frets. And you start seeing patterns. I always say when you look at a guitar neck, you really can't see anything other than you see strings, frets, dots, the fretboard, but what does it mean? You really have to... Uh, analyze it in a logical step-by-step -step method consistently and once you get that down you can really hang with conversations you know you're not mystified about notes anymore <laughs> which you know I know what it feels like to not know what to not, not be able to follow along with a conversation but you know if you can't find an A flat you know you should probably go find all those all right thanks a lot